Hello guys, welcome back to another Coaster B overview. Um, this one, we're going to be taking a look at uh, the Coaster B month of November, I think, if I remember correctly. Um, and if you want to check out all of these creations, of course, as always, definitely check them out below, and check out the Coaster B video, as always. Um, also, I should say, um, for this month, Astrotron did get third, but I'm not going to show his thing, because he already has done his video on his, so if you want to see the third place winner, um, go check out Astrotron's video. Um, he should have a video of it, I assume. So, yeah, go check that out. Um, otherwise, I'm going to be checking out fourth place, in quotation marks, um, which was Robo Flamingo's Uncanny Cove. Um, and then I will be checking out second and first, which is Glezical and Mr. Unit 64, which I think this is Mr. Unit's first win. Yes, it is Mr. Unit's first win out of, I think, like, six? Six or something like that? Crazy? Um, so, yeah, let's get right to it. And I also think this is the month that F2K starts getting introduced, so... Yeah, let, let, let's start taking a look here. Um, I will say there is a bit of a story for Robo Flamingos. So let me go ahead and read that real quick. Um, as that is, uh, important. Um, in Robo Flamingos, a group of explorers recently found a mystical cove full of mysteries. Wanting to capitalize on their fun, they put together a tour company to take visitors on a sightseeing journey around the cove. Unfortunately, the explorers disturbed the land and upset the answers of a lost people, waking a curse that just happens to be cast upon visitors when they take their tour. Nice. Um, so, yeah, let's take a look at this. Um, yeah, let's take a look at this. Uh, right now I don't know what's going on with this white light, so I guess we'll f go follow it all the way back to here. Um, it seems like... Oh, okay. So it seems like the crystal is drawing in the power and then shooting a beam up, which then gets harnessed by the people through these mirrors, um, or the ancient ruins, I apologize, that are getting dinged around and then mirrored around to here. These mirrors are really cool. And then around, around to here. Oh, mistake. <laughs> no, just kidding. Um, Okay, and then another mirror, and then a mirror all the way up into the sky. Okay. Interesting. I don't know what the point of the reflections were, when, in reality, you could have just reflected it over here, and then reflected it in, as... But I guess they just wanted to make it more complicated and make it more dangerous for people walking by, so... I'm all for it. Um... Yeah, so we got the little thing of the uncanny... And we got the flamingo food over here, which is five bucks. That's a ripoff. Um, you do got little flamingos over here, very cute, and these palm trees and everything. Um, you've got the Curse of the Uncanny Cove, daily tours available. Got a little truck, I like that. And you go right in to this nice queue under this crystal. I love that incorporation. These planters are really pretty, actually. I really like how you did these. They're really pretty. Um, you got this nice rope bridge out of some ropes. A um, little bit of weird coloring, but that's alright. Uh, coming over here to these rocks. You go down again, another staircase. Across here with some really nice colored buildings. Um, up the stairs. Across some nice little rocky areas and... You know, Rocky, you know, all that jazz. Um, cross down. And across. Um, back up. Across the rope bridge. Down. Around. Below. Through here, where you get more detail. I really like this station, actually. The Uncanny Cove tour with these trucks in here. Sort of getting, like, maintained. Got some, like, pulley systems and stuff. And got a lot of, like, you know, jungle gear, I guess you could say. Um, you even got over here in the rapids, you got a boat with, like, a boat crane. Like, maybe maintenance being done on it. You got a nice anchor that you made. Really like this anchor. I'm curious what shapes you're using here. 
Um, as I don't know personally. Oh, didn't open. You are using the Ring Glow from Sci-Fi Tech. Nice. Um, yeah. Looks very nice. Um, you got this beautiful shipwreck out of lots of cornices and other pieces here. Um, you have a beautiful little mast, which is a great source of pieces. Um, you got the coaster rolling in. I assume that this is, a uh, switch track? Oh, yeah, it's flooding back. Oh, no! Push back. Push back. Well, um... That would be awkward. Uh, that would be awkward. Uh, oh, because it broke. Um, <laughs> I didn't realize. Uh, but yeah, this shipwreck is really cool. I love how you did the shipwreck. Um, would have been cool if you could see actually, like, you know, stuff inside of it and all. That would have been kind of cool. Um, like, a little bit of interior. Got some nice sails. Um, coming over here, you got the wonderful exit that leads to nowhere. So you got many, many guests trying to get their lockers. Um, I think you need more lockers there, honestly. I think that was your problem. Um, the station is really cool, though, having it sort of go around here. Um, just would have been nice if that had actually worked. Um, yeah, this area is really nice. Got some nice lighting through here. Uh, nice little rapids. Um, yeah, very nice. Little, nice little waterfalls over here. Nothing too crazy. Got a little adventure hut over here. Um, flows this way. Got some nice rock pillars and a good little sort of detail of it bouncing off there like that. Coming this way, you got a little water tower. Maybe it leaks? It does not leak. Okay. Um, you got some nice nets sort of showing like sort of maybe backlot stuff up there. Um, or like, you know, details. You got a nice bridge across. Um... Got a nice rock work, nothing too crazy. Um, this really feels like a fishing wharf, which I like. Uh, let me see here. Are there mechanics? There are. Yeah, so this is really nice little fishing wharf type deal. Uh, you seem to have got some nice brickwork that you were trying to do, but I think that'd have worked better if you maybe had done that instead here. Um, and I don't know quite what you're trying to do with these yellow poles. I'm not sure. Um, but they look interesting. Um, yeah, coming over here, you got a nice little, like, sort of adventure area. Um, a little more brownish, tan. You got some water cannons of people shooting at the, you know, boats as they come out. Um, you got a little boat filled with, a little custom boat filled with some, like, different ammunition and stuff. Really like that, maybe it's like a tour boat. Um, you know, you have some nice little columns that you built, and some nice good details with those pillars. Um, really like how you've sort of beamed it so, like, it actually feels realistic and everything. Um, you got really nice details on this bridge, make it feel, like, very structurally sound. Um, and then over here you got some laser eye dudes, you know, freaking out. Um, yeah, that looks amazing. Um... And yeah, th this is a wonderful build here. So, and I like the lockers you did here as well. That looks very nice. Um, I don't think there's anything else much to say about it. Um, it, it definitely is not like the current robo that we know today, but that shows a lot of improvement in my mind. So I love to take a look at these, you know, older builds, see what they've done. Um, so this is really impressive for, you know, at the time, um, you know. So, yeah. Uh, moving on to the next one, we'll take out, check out Glazicals, I think that's how you pronounce his name. So let's go do that. And now let's take a look at, at night. And here we go. We got the classic Robo lighting, which is Law Chef Kiss. Uh, we got the nice purple lighting over here, and, you know, all the beautiful pinks and purples and greens and cyans, and what else can you say? If you know the lighting, it's Robo's build. Um... So, yeah, I mean, I don't have much else to say except it looks cool and looks good. So, yeah. Good job, Robo. Um, and with that, let's move on to the next 
bill, because I totally didn't forget. Alright, so now we are into Hanningburg, which is classical, I think. Gla Glaxial. Glaxial, I think. Um, yeah. Let's see what he has to say about his Alpine Resort. Um, and this got second place. Um, it is, I am pausing it just because it is running at 5 FPS right now. It is struggling. Um, a semi-fictional, um, semi-fictional Swiss Alpine resort set in the Metro Valley, heavily inspired by places like Zermont, Zosvi, and Grocken. This local mountain railway has hit hard times of late due to global pandemic and has been forced to diversify in order to attract more local tourists. As a result of a crazy mine train style roller coaster has been built tunneling through the town and nearby mountains. Also check out the Glacier Express, which comes to the resort every so often. Entry for the 2020 Coaster Peak uh, Diorama Challenge. See if you can spot all the little details. Hit, there are five cans to find. Um, yeah, um, there's also something I need to download for uh, some sounds. So let me go ahead and do that first before I continue. Never mind. It is no longer available to download, so I cannot put the... Wonderful ambient noises that were meant to be there. Um, but yeah, my computer is going to have a fit at the end of this. I'm going to be zooming in a lot. Um, I, I really can't do an overview. Um, I will say, though, this edge and this bottom area, very nice color. Like, sort of keeping that blue across there. Um, you also got the Swiss flag, which I really like. It's very pretty in the text in there. Um... And having that black all the way around, and it feels very clean. Um, yeah, super clean all the way around. Very, very well done. Um, locking it off. Starting here, we got a little bus. Um, I think this is made out of all shapes, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, this is insane. How did this not win first? First must be insane, then. Um, yeah, this is amazing. I really love the little bus you got here. Using these image signs as metal textures um, is very clever. Um, and making these wheels out of your out of the pieces and using the uh, better letters to get that nice sort of call here, you know, for the tour bus. Um, really nice plant, a uh, foresty looking thing. Very nice and some nice Swiss fences. You got the Hunnen, the Hannenberg. Sorry, the Hannenberg. Uh, I don't know what that says. Okay, let me let me get in there. The Hannenberg Matterhorn Goldehard Bohn Hannenberg. I'm gonna be butchering this. Um, I guess I don't know what that means. Um, sounds cool. Um, but yeah, you got some nice little plants with these crazy amount of details with these beams everywhere. Um, you even put like a tons of, you know, tulips of your own in there. Um, really getting that going. Uh, then you got it. Coming across here to the restaurant and pizzeria for the other Swiss area. Got some nice shutters in there. Great little details. And the beams on the back are very beautiful. Um, you got the train with some nice fog in there. Um, some really nice tables. Got those sort of like tablecloths. Um, very nice. The colors are very beautiful. You got a little, even like a little outdoor eating area. Out here, you have your train that you made yourself with all these crazy shapes and duck fence and... Oh, that's what it is. It's the train. It's the train system. Oh my goodness. Look at this. This is beautiful. These are beautiful trains. Um, what did you use to make... Okay. Okay, that's clever. Yeah, that's very clever. These are beautiful trains. Yeah, absolutely beautiful trains. Um... I really like what you did here. Um, love the little oil car. Um, got the Callens, the what? Callen something? Um, and it even goes further in there. Um, very cool. With the tunnel even working out in the station, I guess you could say. Um, yeah, it does not work, though. So. Uh, and yeah, you got the River Rapids going through there, too. Very cool. Um, especially like how you even detailed it yourself with these beams and everything to get that nice train and maybe the electrical train lines. Um, it seems you have 
wooden fences across here? I don't know what the deal is with that. Um, I don't know if that's intentional or not. Um, but yeah. Um, coming over here, you can, you're making like all these crazy custom lights. Do these actually work? Maybe they do. Um, I don't know. Actually, what? Why is that on auto? Um, and then another tunnel. Uh, very nice. Got some nice bushes and a thousand grasses. That's why my computer is dying. You have a bajillion grasses. How did Coosterby record this? How did he record this? This is why this was sucking, because you couldn't even see it. <laughs> uh, no. Uh, I'm sure there were other reasons. I mean, I haven't seen first yet, so we'll see. Um, I think that there was an update to Resort Attack, because I think everything got rotated. That must have been what happened. Darn you, T10, for ruining this build. How dare you. Yeah, that's that's very strange that all the pieces are rotated. I'm not gonna pick on that too much more. And you got a very nice custom roof out of the Fels rocks out here. And then a nice, beautiful forest back here. Very f uh, nice looking. You got their train coming back out. Some more European uh, train signals. I don't know what any of those mean. Um, you come this way across this bridge. Beautiful bridge through this beautiful creek coming down here. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Comes through this mountain that's just gorgeous. Um, and you got another train signal, and then it goes back into the tunnel. And then it comes back out of the tunnel, across this beautiful, uh, beautiful valley. Um, and it's a very nice little bridge. Um, yeah, these, these are very beautiful. Really like the amount of cubes that you use, that's insane. Um, Wonder who else would do that. Um, uh, you got some nice rock work out here. You got nice little creeks coming down here from the water, uh, from the river rapids even. That's very clever. Um, and yeah, you got a thousand more grasses over here. That's why your computer is dying. You got the Burgum... Okay, I'm gonna try this. You have the Burger... Gemindie. Gemindie. Burger Gaming D. Nah, I'd butcher that. Grokken. Restaurant Hanig Husli. And then Hang Hani Gulp. Uh huh. 1,841 meters. Nice. Um, you got a nice little diner here. That seems like a safety hazard. Someone's gonna back up and fall backwards. Um, but yeah, I like that. That's very cute. Uh, these, these, all these, like, little details and, like, the roof are amazing, all these shutters are very beautiful. The... Are these out of cubes? What is this? I don't remember this roof type. Yeah, this is insane. What the heck? That's insane. And then the chimney is made out of a bunch of shapes, that's very clever. Um, yeah, you got some very nice, uh, roof here. You got a little menu. And then coming out here, you got another stuff. And then a thousand more grasses, of course. Can't, can't leave without that. And then you got the train here, uh, moving throughout the entire place with a railroad crossing. Um, you got a nice Swiss, uh, building here as well, with lots and lots of good details. With all the poles and stuff. Um, very beautiful. Yeah, I really think it was Resort Attack updated it and broke it, it seems. Um, Hotel Irson. Uh, got that here. Very nice. And um, nice shutters inside there. Very good details. Coming this way. Still a bajillion grass. Um, I don't think there was enough grass, honestly, in this build. Um, I think you could have added a little bit more. I think that's my criticism here. Um, crossing here. You got this very nice bridge crossing over this area. Um, you got this really tight sort of Swiss town, which is Absolutely pretty. Oh my god. Oh my god, you didn't. You built an entire- Oh no. Oh, that's why my computer is dying. Holy. Seriously, how did- How did he record this? How did he- How did he record this? This is insane. Um, welcome on, bienvenue. I know what this means. It means, welcome. 
Does this also mean welcome? I don't know. Um, got a nice little roof, got little vents, lots of beautiful windows, some really nice image sign usage. Um, and then over here you got the Spiserland and the Airshorn Hotel. Um, and some very nice little menus and restaurants out here. You got a little menu out there. Um, you got a bus, a tour bus, it seems, for the hotel. I uh, got some flags crossing, so maybe they're sports teams. You got the Intersport and the Ski Rent um, for the Swiss area. And you got some beautiful flowers out here. You got the Hanningoss little sign out there. And a little cart. Some great details in there. Um, out here, you got another little custom, like, thing. Like, what the heck? This is insane. Um, then you got the crazy, you know, 400,000k million piece buildings here. <sighs> like, what? And you put chairs inside. OMG. Oh my goodness. And then you got this image sign out here. Very pretty. You got the Hotel Erason. Um... Yeah, you got the 1925, the Chocolatier. And out here, you got the Handengolp bomb with a little forest thing. Got maybe like a... Oh, it's like a little recreation? <gasps> no way! Oh, that's so pretty! How did you do that? Okay, I have to take this apart. How did you do this? Beam junctions? Beams? Oh, wow. That's so pretty. That's actually so clever. That's very clever. And then coming up here, you got little signposts telling you where everything is. You got another little taxi. Another little taxi. Taxi stops for both of them. You got some nice little planters. And you got some beautiful staircases up here. You also got the SLM Hair 202, number 2. Um, I think this is the old systems that would carry them up very steep, um, roads. I think this is the train in Thomas the Tank Engine, inspired by, like, for, inspired for Toby, right? I don't know. I, I barely know, remember, um, Thomas the Tank Engine anymore. But yeah, it kinda looks like, uh, Toby, I think, I don't know. Five-year-old, seven-year-old knowledge is kicking in. Um... All that nostalgia. Um, but yeah, very beautiful train again. This You are amazing at trains. Uh, I'm definitely going to have to take a note from you. Um, got this beautiful church out here on this street. Oh, little lag. Um, beautiful little thing up here. Um, absolutely gorgeous. Got the River Rapid Station with a nice window cover in it. Um, very nicely done with a nice curved station. You got the Glacier Sport. Rent. Um, some very nice little displays you got here. Uh, the surfboards. Or not the surfboards, ski boards, because. Yeah, babe. Um, sorry for that yawn. Um, and then you got this very nice building here. Um, and then you got a little tree here. You got the Chalet Alpen. You got this beautiful building out here with these really nice hotel rooms. The Glacigado. Um, again, very nice. And then two more little resort areas. You got the Chalet Florchon, and then whatever this is called. Um, you even got little, uh, like, a... Oh my goodness. You even got, like, a little thing to pull it all the way up so it can be, like, maintained. <gasps> oh my goodness. And then you got another signpost. And then all these, like, little details, like, people could walk around here to, like, I guess, skip the, egg, skip the entrance. Got a little bench here with a ladder up to the window. Um, through here you got some very nice little homes. Um, very, like, sort of, like, oldish times homes. Got, like, lumber, you know, firewood stored in there. You got all of these crazy details in here. You got some nice staircases. Up to there, and then coming back this way, you got a very nice little Switzerland flag for this area. Very nicely done. Yeah, this is amazing. 
Uh, I'm definitely going to have to take pointers from this. This is amazing. Um, yeah, this is a beautiful park. And my computer is going to die any second now. So, yeah, absolutely wonderful park, uh, park Glazical. Um, I really don't know what to say, honestly. The, this is insane. Um, so I guess now, let's see what beat this, alright? <laughs> um, yeah, let's go see. And, boom. Alright, let's take a look at this at night. Um, yeah, the late lighting feels a bit sparse, so I would, uh, definitely work on that. Uh, maybe some more, like, even, like, a little bit of dim lighting would be nice. Um, but yeah, very nice build. Glazical. Um, yeah. Just thought I would show off the light, as I tend to forget. As I have just done now, and I'm recording this after the fact. Okay, next build. Alright, so we are Mr. Units, 64's build. Um, let's see if he had to say anything um, about his uh, build. Um, Unit is a very great builder. Um, I really, uh, as much as I uh, insult him, um, I really do uh, uh, love his builds. They're very amazing. He's actually the one that pushed uh, F2K, I'm pretty sure. Um, and he's one of the best builders. I just like to give him, uh, crap about nothing. Um, but yeah, uh, this... Uh, before I even speak, this is running a lot better. <laughs> and I'm wondering if it's gonna be because it's less detailed, or if it's better in all aspects. I will say Glasgow's is still, like, jaw-dropping. Mr. Unit did not have anything to say, though, in the Steam Workshop, but let's check it out, I guess, shall we? Um, we got this little, uh, Chinese little stall that you got here, little sort of entrance into it, little cart. really like this little cart that you made out of all these nice little pieces. Um, I'll go ahead and show you all the pieces so you can see what's being made for all this. Um, as some people do ask, and I don't always, you know, point out them. Um, and I apologize, I really do. Um, coming over here, we got uh, this very beautiful building. Two-story building. Um, I think this is... I'm, I, I think this is supposed to be Chinese. I'm pretty sure this is Chinese, because it's a Chinese flag. Right? And it sounds Chinese. I apologize if this is not Chinese. Very much apologize. Um, but yeah. Uh, I got these very nice metal sheet roofing. Um... You got these very nice little buildings. Could be a little bit of detail in there, but still looks nice. Um, got a nice little waterfall through here. Um, over here, um, seems very, like, Asian, but not, like, too much effort was put in. It was just concrete and a little bit, you know what I mean, like, put into it. Um, and it, I don't know. It kind of speaks to me Chinese, and I, I don't know, I don't know. It, it, it's kind of cool. Um, I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> oh, B, you got some nice cube signs. I don't know what any of this means in Chinese. Um, but yeah, you got some nice signage here, throughout here. Um, yeah. Down the path we go, getting splashed on by the dragon. Um, yeah, you know what, let's get to the dragons. The dragons are very cool. This dragon is using a thousand little spheres. Amazing. And he breathes fire and water, I guess. Um, using rocks, smalls, and the way it just curves around and then he pees at you? Um, is very cool. I love the fins on it. Um, and then diving it over you and diving, you know what I mean, like... And his eyes glowing and using the grass and the shrubs and all of that is very brilliant. Um, yeah, fantastic job on that. He also got some nice little pillars, sort of, keeping the rapids in. Um, got some nice rock work throughout here. Coming this way, you got some water sort of running off into the rapids. Um, 
you had the train sort of broken off, I guess? Um, oh, I guess you could see this, that it's broken off from here. That's very clever. I love that. That's super clever. I love how it's just completely ruined and everything. Um, yeah, fantastic job. And then great custom supporting over this little airtime hill. Come in this direction. We got a little nice little fence, nothing too crazy. And then you got the entrance for the Young Tees River something. The river something. Um, and this building is beautiful. You got some beautiful roof uh, done here. The colors are spot on. You got some beautiful cornices. Um, the use of the like the custom S text signs for that dragon. Um, and the size that you did here with the borders and orb lamps really gives off this really Chinese look and it looks fantastic. Um, yeah, and then everyone did this rounded, <laughs> you know, river rapids thing. Why did everyone do that? <laughs> Uh, there can be flat stations, too. Oh, I guess it was kind of forced, the way that the station was set up. I guess, yeah. Um, but very cool. I really like how that sort of carries around here for the curved station. It looks very nice. Um, yeah. Uh, moving on over here, we get this building, which has a crazy queue. This crazy queue going all the way back to here. Some nice little coverings for them as well. A nice little tree. And then it goes right into the coaster. Um, but yeah, this is a very beautiful Japanese building using the cornices um, and such. Um, yeah, very nicely done. You got a little Chinese garden with a nice... Uh, I don't remember what these are called. Or no, there's one that's like really like large and red that you... I don't remember. Um... But yeah, this is very beautiful using the roof peaks and everything. It's very nice. And then you got this little cart here with this person in here. Um, with again, a little shop. Use, it, use the cornices to get those details on the walls are very nice. So I like that. Then you got here another little uh, backwards section um, where they come up and the track is like, you know, destroyed. Um, Seems the dragons have destroyed it. Um, but yeah. Um, I guess we'll see what happens. Oh no! Fireworks! Fireworks happened! Oh no! Run! Wow, that is so slow. <laughs> That's what I would be doing. Um, yeah, you got a little nice little curve around there. Um, very nice. Um, out here you get this nice little bridge and little entrance to the Chinese area. You got a little gazebo, I guess, with a wall. Another little gazebo. Um, got some nice walls across here. You got some very nice sparse, but not too sparse planters. They're just perfect. Um, and then this grand palace is beautiful how it encompasses the two uh, coasters in here using, you know, having all that stuff in there. Um, it's very beautiful. Using the fog around the mountains is clever. Um, that's a nice touch. And then over here you got the Yon's Shi something, the launch drop tower here. And this huge um, Gododa, I think is what it's called. I am so sorry for butchering that. Um, but it is very beautiful. The use of all the shapes and everything, um, and the cornices and everything is just amazing. Um, so yeah, very wonderful job here with the spheres and everything. You even got little triggers, all the triggers down here. Um, come in this direction. Uh, we got this little palace at the top here. Coming out of the fog, seems like it's been ruined. Um, I like how you made it vandalized, so it actually looks like it's been ruined. Um, but yeah, this is very pretty, having this sort of mysterious palace sort of faded away into non-existence. And then you got the dragon that everyone fears. Um, the great red dragon. I don't know, I'm giving it an accent. Um, but maybe it's scary. Um, but yeah, I like that. That's very cool. The details in here with the 
plants and everything, and the whiskers. And then you got crazy details of these shapes and everything coming around here. Especially with the foot. And then coming all the way up to the tail with the rock usage. Um, again, this tower is very beautiful with the skull uses and the inward, uh, like, shapes to get those nice upward roof angles. Um, you also have some really nice, uh, foliage on the stuff on the outside as well. Um, looks like it was, like, ruined and stuff getting up there. You can see, like, there's a path going up and, like, the rock rubble is destroying it. And then you come up to here, and like the rock rubble just, and the, the bridge is come like completely destroyed, and yeah, that's just a very nice touch. I really like that. Um, and then you got a little nice little water thing. Oh, that's the thing I was talking about—the little arch thing. I don't know what that's called. Any any uh Chinese slash Asian culture people that know what they're talking about, let me know. That was a long-winded way of just saying. Let me know if you know. <laughs> um, but yeah. I don't think there's anything else huge else to say about this. Um, but let us check it out in nighttime, I guess. Yeah, let's check it out in nighttime. Yeah, this is very nice. Um, I feel like the light work could have lost a little of detail. Um, I feel like, yeah, there's a little bit of yellow over here, a little bit of white on the paths. Uh, maybe it could have been maybe more red on the dragon, of course, but... Again, this is an older build, so of course you improve later on, um... But yeah, it is a very nice build unit. So, yeah, congratulations on the win. Um, again, if you want to check all these out, check out the link down below. And... Yeah. Peace out.